One of the Marines' most deadly attacks is the Buster Call. It's not an actual weapon like Pluton or the Mother Flame. Instead, it's a protocol where the Marines send 10 of their battleships, 5 Vice Admirals who are the closest to the target, and an Admiral to an island, where they proceed to bombard it into oblivion. A Buster Call is indiscriminate. It doesn't matter if you're man, woman, child, guilty, or innocent. If you are on an island that a Buster Call is targeting, you are nothing more than collateral damage. You're not safe even if you're a Marine. If a criminal were to have made it onto one of the battleships, the other battleships will attack it, killing all of the Marines on that ship just to kill a suspected target. Because to the world government, they believe they are absolute justice. So to them, the ends justify the means. Now, such a catastrophic attack cannot be used so freely. In fact, only 10 of the highest ranking of Marine and government officials have the authority to dispatch a buster call. These 10 include the Admirals, the Fleet Admiral, the Commander-in-Chief, and the Gorose. However, there is a loophole that allows the lesser ranking officials to launch a buster call, but only if one of the 10 highest ranking officials grant them the authority to do so. And the way they do that is by giving said individual their Golden Denden Mushi. The Golden Denden Mushi is a rare type of Denden Mushi. If you look at the top of its shell, you'll notice it has a button. Unlike most Denden Mushis which allow one to send and receive transmissions, the Golden Denden Mushi is only capable of sending a specific transmission to a specific Denden Mushi, which is the Silver Denden Mushi. Once the Silver Denden Mushi receives the transmission, it will begin to generate a loud, vibrating sound. The Silver Denden Mushi's sole purpose is to notify the Marines when a buster call has been made. The Silver Denden Mushi tracks where the transmission came from, and without question, the Marines will send personnel to the island. Once a buster call has been activated, it cannot be cancelled. Spondum accidentally triggered a buster call with the Golden Denden Mushi Aokiji gave him, and he was incapable of calling off the attack. Because buster calls are so destructive and they cannot be stopped once requested, it becomes a lot more clear why only a handful of people are capable of launching them. If you're not caught up with the One Piece manga, then here is your spoiler warning. We've only ever heard of a buster call being declared on three islands. The first was Ohara, because scholars of the island were researching the Void Century. The second, although it was an accident, was because the Straw Hats were trying to save Nico Robin, the lone survivor of Ahara, and she can read the poneglyphs. And the third, which is currently in progress, has been issued on Egghead Island. St. Jay Garcia issued it because of multiple reasons. Luffy, aka Nika, is on the island, Vegapunk has been researching the Void Sentry, and Kuma, a buccaneer, has also arrived on the island. We don't know how often buster calls are issued, but because an entity must be deemed a threat against the world government in order to enact one, and all known instances were because they were related to the Void Sentry, I'd say it's pretty rare for buster calls to occur. You can view the buster call as the Marines' personification of absolute justice. They will go to any lengths necessary to fulfill their own sense of justice. Even if it means they have just one target on an island, they will wipe out an entire island just to kill a single individual. That is my presentation on the Buster Call. Please subscribe if you enjoyed.